So what I have is I've got 100 people here, and there's probably 20 different kinds of clocks in the same room. There's no way I can explain every single clock. Let me get the principle to you in, in concept. So some of you have one, one valve or one time. Some of you have, I've got 12 times. I've got 12 separate valves, 12 different, we've got a clock that can run 12 different clocks. It's commercial grade. Uh, some of you probably, most of you have six, six valves. So you've got however many valves, and usually it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll actually have a number on there. Then it'll have A, B, C. Most, A, B maybe, or A, B, C. One of those two. Here's how I think it through. This is how it helps me program my clock. Uh, and you kind of need to be an expert on your clock. You need to know how to set this. You need to sit down on the internet, pull up your clock, and pull up the manual, and read how to do this. Because you will need to change it. As the monsoons hit in July, you need to cut that, throttle that thing back. Because it doesn't need as much water. Because Mother Nature's taking care of you. But in May and June, it's hot and dry. You need, you need the water more often. So I, here I broke down A, B, C. I tried to break down my system by what are the, how are things gonna to need to be watered? So generally I'll pick one of the letters and I'll go, that's gonna be my trees. That's gonna be my tree system. And so I'll put all my tree valves on the A system. So A will run all at the same time. Then B will be my pots, because I do a lot of pots. And C will be my flowers. Then for you it might be a vegetable garden. Just think through deep water, Lots of cycles, we pots need water every day, maybe twice a day. And then C is going to be flower maybe once a week, twice a week. So I've got three different ways, cycles. How often does the thing need to run? Now I go through and I'm programming A. I want my trees to be watered once a week. So one time, four times, three times a week. This is per week. This is how long it's going to run. I want my trees on average to be watered once a week during the growing season. Growing season is April through October. Uh, and then I want it to run for two hours because I want that water pushed down to the ground a couple feet. So to run that system, so you're using a two gallon per hour emitter head, that means that one emitter head, so I've got two gallons, you might have one gallon per hour emitter heads, or half gallon. So, but I've got twos, so if I run that emitter for two hours, that emitter has now distributed four gallons of water. Now all of a sudden I can regulate, oh, I need a 15 gallon tree. It needs 15 gallons of water per week. How many emitter heads do I need? I can quickly go, I need three or four emitter heads for that big tree. So I can now quickly backtrack on the math. How much water does it need? Most of you are not running your system long enough for your deep rooted things. So you need to water on average about once a week. If you've got a brand new lawn and everything is just just in, maybe you need it twice a week because all the roots are right here. So there I might I might run it with only two emitter heads, two hours, twice. So now I've got okay for uh, it's eight gallon. Okay, I can now do the math real quick. So that's trees on my B section of the of the clock. I'm going to run pots. I want my pots to water four times a week, so every other day or so. And then I want it to run for 15 minutes at a time. Again, I'm typically using this Shrutler adjustable head thing. So this has a much greater flow rate than that little tiny drip emitter. So this one I don't have to run as long. And so I'm going to run that every other day about 15 minutes. Then I can play with it. Maybe it's 60 minutes. Maybe it's, maybe it's only five minutes when the monsoons are up. It's more humid. But I can play with that. Then my flowers, perennial beds, annual gardens, raised beds, that kind of stuff. I'm going to water three times a week, every third day or so, for about 40 minutes. Because now I've typically got an emitter head at each plant out there in that flower bed. So that makes it, this is rough, it's not exact. And I can't get exact with every single person. But if you think through, my trees need to be watered about once a week, one, two, three, four hours at a time to get enough water on them. And my pots need far less because I'm using a different emitter head than my flowers are. Does that make sense? Now all the hands go up. Now pull the business card out that I gave you and look on the back of that business card. I want you to do me a favor. It's on the front of our business card. 
You get the address, the logo, all that kind of stuff. Don't look at that. Look at the back. Because the number one question we get anywhere, I mean, I answer this question probably 10 times a day. How often should I water? So this is a great plan. How often should I water? And so we just put the water guide on the back of every car. Okay? And plus, secretly, if you could help me out, I want my logo in every irrigation box in my county. <laughs> so, this is made to tape inside your irrigation boxes. You'll, you'll forget. When do I turn it on or off? Well, you can see April through October, right here, during, during the summer, the, the growing season, you're going to water established plants once a week. That's trees and shrubs, roses, uh, 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 big rooted things once a week. For new plants, I have a lot of new plants in my yard. I'm a gardener. I own a garden center. I like to, I like to plant. I have a lot of new things. I'll water those things twice a week because they're just more dependent on me. For lawns, the lawn lady in the back, there we go, about twice a week. Especially if you're using the right kind of lawn seed mix. So a, a, a fescue mix is a little more tougher, more water efficient. Twice a week should be good. Try not to, try to give it a rest period. So no more bluegrass, maybe it's three times a week. And then for herbs, veggies, that kind of stuff, there it's kind of a crapshoot. It depends on where you're at, but about three, about every other day. That's how you water. That's meant to help you. Yes, we do water in the winter, most winters. This winter, I hardly had to water. If from, from the new year on, it was just like you were covered in snow the whole time.